is Minaj, welcome to my channel. On this tutorial, we will build a book library API. So what we will be doing is to upload books into the uh, database in our uh, bookstore application. So this is just an API, which means that you can connect the routes to your Angular applications and you can use Angular front end and back end as a Java. And the second phase of the same video, we will also convert the same project to a web application just using Java with, um, with view model. So the first thing we will do is uh, initialize our project. So we will call this jbooks.com and that will be English books. And the dependencies we need is um, dev tool, web services, RISTful, this one, Spring Rist, and uh, then we need JPA. And the last one, MySQL driver. That's it. So that's all we need for this one. And we will save it in this one. Just, just choose a local folder where you will store your projects. So I'm going to close the last window and maximize this one. Before we run our project, we need to add a setting because we added the driver and uh, JPE. So we need to add the driver for, um, for the application to connect to the database. And I have already, I think I have already copied, yep. So that's the setting. I have done it in other applications. Now I just copy and paste. So the only thing that I would, like, I would like to point out, that's the database name. So I put a test, now I have to create one. So if there's any test, drop, nope. Create database test and copy the same thing. So I don't have any spilling error and save it to make sure that it's running i'm gonna come to application inside the resource folder and in here we'll just add this out and i'll say application as a string application is running and now i will go back to my actually control in the tick mark that's all the way to the left of the keyboard under skip so it just all i did was open the terminal you can also do it here with terminal so i want to run it first to make sure this application has no problem at the beginning because then it becomes harder to keep troubleshooting it and ls I want to be in a folder that I can see from XML. It will be Maven Spring Dash Boot Run. The reason I'm not explaining these parts, I have already done it in the previous videos. So in this video, we will go mostly practical. But still, we will have one part to talk about it. I'm assuming that you already know these annotations. At least you have a basic understanding which will be at controller at service at um, what else at repository and the last one at entity so these are the couple java annotations because uh, when you build the spring boot application you do need these ones the controller will uh, if it is either web application or API, it will receive all the, um, it's a class that we design it and it will receive all the requests that comes to it, then checks if they if the route exists, it routes, uh, like routes it. If it doesn't exist, then it gives an error or if you have a reply for an address, like error 404. So that's the pretty much the main, the first gate that receives the request and then if for example, you request the name John, and if John, if there is an address, it says that if you need name, it 
check the database. So then it passes that request to services, checks the validation. If everything is a string, nothing wrong with it. And then it passes to repository where like, for example, you have a list of names, then it will filter it out. Like if select all names, if it equals to John, like select all from names and where name equals to John, if that is true, find that from the table or database. So that this one is an abstraction class, which is an interface. So, and it goes and implements the command on the table. And if it finds it in the database, passes it through the same route that it came. So those are the brief explanation about it. And we will be building all of these uh, four uh, classes and we will see it in action. So if you don't know anything about it, please just do a little bit Google search so you have an idea why we are doing it. So my application is running here. It's just in a skeleton for now. And the first two things we did was uh, were we added the database setting and in here we just added this uh, application is running so we can see it there and I will stop by pressing control C and PWD WD I need this path because I won't be using this terminal much I want to use oh sorry for that white bright white screen so I'm gonna enter there clear there we go so that's the project and now let's move back to VS Code. So we need a couple of things for these classes and those are we need folders with this similar names that we know that what class belongs to what service before we create our objects and classes because if we create everything here it will get messy so to have a specific folder or packages to manage all uh, classes it's it's a good idea and good practice so let's do that and we will need one class uh, sorry one folder for each of these uh, services or java annotations or just like it's just to organize it so for that one i will still use this terminal control l to clean, clear everything and I have to be in this folder so I will do it here opening terminal so it will go exactly in that path now if I do pwd that's all the route so I just avoided by doing so many cd cd so let's now create our folders and I will instead of doing one by one I will just do make dir so we need models, which is the all the small caps, which is the entity, and then repositories, repositories, and services, and finally controllers. So all those folders now show up there, the same trick. So we will do touch models so this is going to be our table and i will call it book.java and then i need one for the repository we will say repositories i'm pressing tab to autocomplete so then i will type book repository it's good to give these so we, these prefixes so you know that it's it belongs to book then you have author then you add author repository if you need or author service or author controller so it's good to define it what you need uh, what you're creating and what classes uh, what it belongs to so that's book repository and we need two more which will be service services book service dot java in the last one controllers then it will be book controller and the other thing the good thing is about adding these prefixes it's going to help you to avoid some errors for example there is a java annotation controller if you create a class called controller you're conflicting with that one so it sometimes gives you problem and you have to do extra things to to make that running so it will be like uh, two classes with the same name 
and I'm gonna press enter to create all these so in this one right now I have four things here we have controller on the left side we have repository and entity on the right side that means that services is the middleware between these two sides if you Google search if you see the middleware this is the so you have one logic here then you have the extra logic in the services that you want to apply before your data gets processed or not from the database 